Miss Sinnable here bringing you another chemical reaction and this time we are doing a single replacement reaction using zinc and zinc is a transition metal it's a grayish silvery color it looks like this this is called mossy zinc and um, it's actually it really looks like moss except it's kind of a silvery color so we're gonna put a little bit of this mossy zinc into our test tube so and I'm actually going to add an acid to this so I'm gonna put it in my holder there while I get my acid and the acid that we're using is HCl that is hydrochloric acid and this is a six molar concentration so it's gonna be pretty strong and I'll put several squirts and I can see that it's already starting to bubble Now this vapor is coming out the top, I'll show you that, and I want to trap that. So I'm going to invert another test tube on top and try to capture that vapor while we look at this reaction. So I see lots and lots of bubbles. Let me touch it. Oh my gosh, it is, it is hot. That is such a strong chemical reaction. It's actually um, like full on, you know, you couldn't hold that tightly with your hands. It would definitely burn you. So I'm collecting a bunch of this gas in my, in my inverted test tube here. And while that's collecting, let's talk about the chemical equation. So uh, zinc is one of my reactants and HCl, hydrochloric acid, is the other reactant. And the products of this are gonna be zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. And it's that hydrogen gas, which is lighter than air, so it's gonna collect in the top of this test tube and it's all gonna be in the top here. Now this is not balanced. Um, at least I haven't checked it. So let's look and see. Here I have one zinc. Here I have one zinc. So that's balanced. Here I have one hydrogen. Here I have two hydrogens. So I need to go back and have two of those um, acid molecules. And then that also means I have two chlorines and here I have two chlorines. So now it is completely balanced. All right, let's check and see if I really do have hydrogen gas. One of the neat features of hydrogen gas is that it's flammable. This is why the Hindenburg blew up is because it was full of hydrogen gas. So I think I've collected enough and as long as I keep it inverted it's going to be trapped in the top of this test tube and I'm going to hold this test tube this way and I'm going to blow it up y'all. Blow it up. So I've got my burning wood split and I'm just going to put it on the bottom. <gasps> And that sound that you heard was the sound of that hydrogen gas exploding. Hi guys, so I just wanna do a little follow up on our zinc and hydrochloric reaction experiment because it, it takes a little while for that reaction to happen. So I let it sit overnight. And when I came back to look at it, this is what I saw. You can see that there's absolutely no more zinc in there. And I just now have um, this clear aqueous uh, solution. And so that clear aqueous solution, remember the, the hydrogen, evaporated away so that is vaporized and it's gone so this clear solution that's in here is actually not water it's a solution of zinc chloride and so that's just kind of like a salt and it's dissolved and you can't see it in there so that wraps up our hydrochloric acid and zinc experiment thanks so much